Welcome to Jacket Speak. This week's hosts are Jasmine Baker and Lily Shawwicker. Hello everyone, we're so excited to show you what's been happening this week at SHS. Child development filled the Fodec halls with their future business ideas. Audrey Sowers has more. Miss Tammy Tubbs' child development and resource management classes held their first ever Young Entrepreneurs Day. Each student was given the same task, resulting in a range of results. Hello, in the world that we live in, many students choose not to go to college, so in my child development class, I had a scenario that I gave each student. Being a single parent can be a very hard job, so they were challenged to create a business of their own, something that would bring in residue, money, and would challenge them to think outside the box. Leah. Leah Skelton is a student taking child development. I, personally, I learned like how easy it is to really like put something together with your own creativity. Like it doesn't even have to be like a big, huge product. It can be something as tiny as a candy lay or like a necklace. And honestly, making it was pretty easy. And I made it last night right before this project, so I thought it was really easy. We were doing soul food and all that, so like I saw, so I thought. Why don't you do something from your culture? So I'm Hawaiian and Samoan, so I chose the candy lays. So I thought it would be really good here because how big sports are, and they're meant for like graduations, championship games, and all of that. It's really good here at this high school because that's something big here. This is Audrey Sowers with Jacket Speak reporting from Millsaps. Jasmine, hasn't the student section looked pretty good this season? Yeah, and Jay, Anna, and Henry went down to cover the do's and don'ts of the nest. I'm Anna. I'm Jay. And I'm Henry. And today we're going to be showing you guys the do's and don'ts of the student section. Let's go! So we're going to start this off pretty simple. Do say the cheers with the cheerleaders. Don't be this person. Let's go, Jackie! Let's go, Big Go! Sit or stand in your seat and cheer. Don't stand in the walkway. See what happened today? That was so crazy. That was crazy. That was so insane. Excuse me. She tried to look at that thing where. She tried to like. She caught that. Do stay in your seat and cheer. Don't storm the field. 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 Don't storm the Let's go. Woo. Let's go, Jack. Touchdown. Let's go. Excuse me. Yeah. Gamer. Excuse me. Let's go. Excuse me. Do take pictures with Jeremiah. Selfie. Thanks, Thanks for watching. This year, the Jacket Nation offers academic houses for students. Last week, H Squared S and Tech Houses had house parties. I moderated a question panel with Starville High staff to learn more about what each house entails. Sophomores in the Technology, Engineering, and Construction House, as well as the Health and Human Sciences House, gathered in the gym during Buzz Block last week to learn more about their academic houses. The academic houses are small learning communities where students will have a more intimate setting with their teachers. Um, they'll give them an opportunity to make meaning of what it is they want to do in their future. As the video stated, we'll have three um, Technology, Engineering, Construction, uh, Communication, Arts and Business, and H squared X, which is Health and Human Sciences. How will participating in an academic house distinguish our students from other graduates moving into post-secondary education in the 21st century dollar? So all students are in high school and they're all going to get a diploma and then head out to college or the workforce. But with the academic houses, you have the opportunity to get certifications in your field so that you can already start working while you're going to school. Um, that can give you the leg up to take classes before other people at home at college or technical school. Um, it also provides you the opportunity to get some dual enrollment credit in your field. So if you choose to go to college, you can start with a couple credits. Our Jacket Speak staff tested the student body with their song association skills. Here's how they did. Your word is love. O, O. L is for the way you look. 
anyone that you adore and love. Your word is tonight. Tonight. Tonight, we are young. Hey, hey. <laughs> Your word is party. Because there's a party in the USA. USA. <laughs> hey. Your word is road. I'm going to take my, my horse to the old town road. road. I'm going to ride till I can no more. Your word is Star. Twinkle, twinkle, little star. How I wonder what you are. <laughs> Up above the world so bright. Like a diamond in the sky. Lady Jacket Softball had their senior night on Monday. Claire Potts has more on the game. Thursday, the Lady Jacket softball team hosted Caledonia. It was senior night for Allie Bearfield and Kimberlyn Livingston. The girls were recognized for their dedication and leadership to the team. Junior Brianne Locke hit a home run. Kylie May and Quay Brown scored runs along with several others. The Lady Jackets fell to the Confederates with a final score of 18-8. Junior shortstop Brianne Locke believes the team has room for improvement. Uh, you know, there's always somewhere where we can improve. You know, tonight we just weren't mentally there. We weren't mentally prepared for this team. Um, make an error, you have to shake it off and just go to the next play. So I think that's just basically just helping each other out, and, you know, staying up and alive. Armstrong student Aubrey Montgomery starts as an outfielder. Most, in some games, our hitting was up and working together as a team and just uplifting each other throughout the entire season. And, yeah. Reporting from the SHS softball field, this is Claire Potts with Jacket Speak. This week on Sports Speak, Rachel interviewed senior softball player Allie Bearfield. Let's hear how their season's going. I'm here with senior softball player Allie Bearfield. So your slow pitch season is starting to come to a close. How has it been so far? So far it's been pretty well. Um, we have worked more as a team and been more as an encouragement to each other instead of just dismissing our mistakes. So as the slow pitch season comes to a close, y'all have to transition to fast pitch season for next semester. What we all do to make that transition smooth? Well, we will work more on our hitting and we will work more as becoming one team instead of working selfishly for our own benefit. And lastly, how have the seniors this year taken up the leadership role on the team? The seniors have been more of an encouragement and brought more people up than they have like dismissed the younger kids. Thank you, Allie. The Lady Jackets host Winona today. Show out and cheer on the Lady Jackets. Have you seen that golf ball rolling around the school? Yeah, I wonder if it'll be a hole in one. Ashton Neely and Laura Guyton followed it to see where it ended up. I bet you five dollars you can't make that ball in that hole. Okay, bet. Next week, we'll be back with another Jacket Speak. Hello, everyone. We're so excited to show you what's going on. 
What? Just hello everyone. We're so excited to show you what's been good. How do that? Hello everyone. We're so I'm excited. Sure. Sorry. Hello everyone. Wait, we're nope, you're gonna be able to hit the flush. Hello everyone. We're so you're excited. Gonna have to, you gotta. Have you seen that softball roll it? Softball? That's <laughs> 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 Okay. How have the seniors taken up the leadership role? Okay. Jackets host Winona today. Show out and show out and cheer on. <laughs>